Hey, what's going on guys? We're gonna be checking out another Mecha Musume kit here from Kotobukiya today. This is the another color version of Arcia. So if you guys have seen my review of the original Arcia kit, it's gonna be, for the most part, the same kit. It's basically recolored, but we do have some additional new parts in here as well, featuring the FGM-148 type anti-tank missile, basically a new kind of missile launcher weapon that she has in there as well. It looks really, really cool. If you guys saw my previous review, you know that I really enjoyed this this, the first version of this kit. Very cool kit, highly recommended. And so I'm very excited to check out the another color version here. Let's go ahead and get right into it. And I gotta give it up to Kotobukiya for, you know, not only making fantastic kits, but the boxes are just always beautiful here. We've got a really nice mix of gloss for the entire illustration there, and then matte black here, or kind of like a satin black for the titling sections of the box art. So, I know the box doesn't really have anything to do with the kit inside, but just definitely makes it feel very premium, very high quality here, because we have a really nice illustration on the front. This is part of the Shimada Humikane Artworks 2 in collaboration with Little Armory. So the new weapons parts in here are from the Little Armory series. But I really love the new color scheme here for the another color version. You can see that there on the box artwork, as you saw here on the side, it's a pretty thick box for one, and we just have a kind of a different cropped version there of the box art. Over here on the side of the box, you can see images of the fully painted kit there, front and back with the uh, equipment here, which is the new equipment for that, uh, how that will attach onto the back, and just some of the different posing options you have with that launching it and some of the different articulation and points of detail here around on the kit. Around here on the other side, a look at the kit straight up out of the box, completely unpainted there, so you can get a look at kind of how that's going to look out of the box. Our face parts there, looks like we've got one, two, three different face options and then some water side decals included. So we'll take a look at those in just a moment. The MSRP list price here for this is 9,000 yen. And for, yeah, a pretty thick box there and what is essentially sort of like a, a premium version of this kind of already sort of premium kit being like an artist collaboration kit. That's not bad, I feel like. And this is very interesting. This is unique. So immediately opening this up, uh, it's got the runners sort of separated. Now this is something I've not seen in a long time. The last time I've seen anything like this from Kurobukiya, I feel like it was maybe like some of the frame arms kits sort of used to be like this, where they would have the pre-assembled frame like separated from the runners. And it looks like that's sort of similar to like what we've got in here. Here's all the parts for the kit. What I would imagine is in here separately is the little armory parts for the new weapon for the anti-tank missile. And so it looks like probably what Kurobukiya did in order to like produce this kit was they made all of that. This was produced from little armory sent to Kurobukiya like this and then it's kind of packaged together, that sort of thing. So I guess we'll take a look at this stuff here first seeing as how these are the new parts for this. It looks like this is basically the entire contents of this weapon if you were to just get this weapon on its own. So this first paper here is a bit about the little armory line in general, it looks like. It's 112 scale, and this gives you kind of a one-to-one -one size chart of just kind of how big that's gonna be compared with the centimeter ruler there in the background. You can see this uh, with some different kits, with the frame arms, uh, Figma, with the Sosai Shoujo Teien kits, and that is also Figma there. This folds out and has some more information just kind of about the assembly, how to build these uh, gun models basically, and the painting of them, some background story, I guess that exists. I didn't even know that there was any sort of background story for this line. But on the back side of there is basically just like a catalog of all the different weapons that are available. So here are some of those here, and then if you fold this open, and there's the rest. So this is pretty cool just because there is a lot of different stuff available. There's even different hand parts and different paints and all this different stuff, gun racks and frame arms collaboration stuff. So it's a lot of really cool stuff in the little armory line that works well with these particular kits as well as Figma and kind of anything else really. I uh, like the Sosai Shoujo Teian kits for example. Uh, so yeah, a lot of really cool options there. And then we have the actual construction instructions here, which of course is gonna be pretty simple because it's just a few parts, but there's what that looks like, the instructions for the weapon itself. On the back side, just kind of some line art there, which is kind of hard to see. It's very fine print there for the line art, but you can kind of get an idea of that. Back to the main box though, here is our water side decals, which includes decals for the eyes, and then some markings, different markings for around on the kit itself, though I think probably a lot of these are gonna be going onto the weapon. 
but that all looks really cool. And then we've got the instruction booklet, which features the same artwork like we saw on the front of the box, just kind of a little bit different background there on the back side that's just kind of wrapped around with the Shimada Humikane Artworks logo there and all the other, other logos. Then on the inside, just the same illustration images like we saw on the outside of the box there. We've got our parts list on the next page. Next page gets into the construction, and I guess so these instructions are not going to have the instructions for the weapon as that's covered in its separate set there. So this is just gonna have the uh, same rifle and sword that came with the original kit, but now we have those, plus the addition of our new weapons. There's a little bit about that. We do have the decal guide here at the end, which does have the decal guide for the anti-tank missile and that folds out. Here's also our color guide. So all the colors there listed in Japanese for the main kit. And then I think that's also going to cover. See, I think, yeah, the colors for the anti-tank missile are listed there as well. So that's it for that stuff. Let's take a look at the runners. So first off, our pre-painted parts here is gonna be the face parts. Looks really nice as usual. Even has like the little white dot there on the cheeks for giving you that kind of like suntan look, especially for like the skin tone here for this figure, uh, for this kit. Then we've got a couple more parts here for the body where the pre-painting on there may not be very obvious. It's that little black line right along the edge of there. That's gonna be what's pre-painted on those torso parts. Then just taking a look at the little armory runners here. First, we've got two different colors here, black and a kind of grayish color here, runner A and runner B. In the gray color, you can see a lot of really nice detail on these. That's one thing that I do know about the little armory sets is that they are very detailed as they're meant to be super realistic. Uh, depictions of the actual real world weapons a lot of cases so here's another runner B and B is just kind of continued on there for those two of small runners there in black back to the main kit then we've got a PC runner here in skin tone for a couple of poly caps I believe those go in the legs and then all of our hand parts here runner X1 and X2 X1 is in this dark gray and the hands are not just different colored but there are they are different styles so the X1 runner the dark gray hands have this kind of Part there on the back of the hand where the white hand parts do not have that hand cover part there on the back so those are going to cover your standard kind of open expressive hands holding hands closed fists all that good stuff but you have a two different style for those runner a is going to be the rest of our skin tone parts here for the kit again in this kind of very tanned color scheme there for the skin runners b and c here are very interesting they look white this is going to be all of our hair parts runner c is going to be some more parts for the kit that are on white it's actually a pearl white so it's going to be hard to show you guys on camera i'll show you a little bit more in closer detail once i have the kit built up in the review portion of the video but interesting that those are actually in pearl runner d here is some parts in a dark gray runner e is the first of our runners here here, which is in that lime green for that new kind of accent color, which is really nice. Runner F then is some more parts in dark gray. Runner G, some more parts here in pearl white. Runner H is some parts here in a lighter gray color there. They've got a series of small runners here. Runner I is in skin tone. Runner J, we actually have two of, one in light gray, one in white. Runner K is a couple parts here in dark gray. Runner L is a couple of parts here in like a clear black. And runner M is one single tiny little part there in dark gray as well. Runner N is some more parts in lime green. This is gonna be our weapons parts for the rifle and the sword are gonna be in lime green as well, which is pretty interesting. And last but certainly not least here, runner Y is gonna be our base plate piece, which as you can see is in a nice gloss black, which we'll be using for the stand for this. So that's it. All right, here she is all built up. And once again, in this new color scheme, looking very cool, definitely a fan. And it's interesting how in the first review, I mentioned about how this kit reminded me a lot of something that looked like something out of Metal Gear Solid. Definitely much less so with this new color scheme on it, but still a very cool design. That said, the new included weaponry with this version is quite Metal Gear Solid, I guess. But the new combination of that tan skin tone with the white hair and all the white clothing around on the body makes for some nice contrast there. And once again, like we saw with the original version of this, it's just got a lot of really great detail on it and it looks fantastic straight out of the box but if you wanted to go in and just paint in all the little details and everything it's going to look so much even better but let's go ahead and get into it here starting off with some of the accessories taking a look at both the old and the new accessories here so starting off with the older accessories before we get to what's new we have the same base here in a glossy black we have a ball joint at the bottom and also a ball joint at the top but also the connection peg here can be rotated up and down as well. The whole connection mechanism can also be extended 
up and down as well for a vertical adjustment and that's basically just held in there with uh, just friction but it seems to work pretty well that should be more than enough to hold up this kit which is not necessarily all that heavy our face option parts are really nice the pre-painting on those including like the shading on the cheeks and the little white dots there on the cheeks to give it that much more life looks really good there's our second and third options here very nice Moving down to the arms then, they're asymmetrical, but you do have both versions, both the left and the right side. So if you wanted to have them the same, either both like these sleeved arms or both this kind of like mechanical arm, you can do that or have the left side and right side switched, whichever way you want to do that. We also have some optional parts for here in the upper arm if you wanted to have a... We also have some optional parts for right here on the upper arm. If you want to have a connection point right there, you can use that part that gives you a three millimeter peg connection point, as well as optional parts for connection points here on the leg as well. You can swap that part out with this one and you can plug any three millimeter peg connection into there for additional armaments or equipment. We have an optional mask here. Now to put this in, we're going to replace this little part here on the chest, swap that out for our mask piece and the face basically is just going to tilt forward and look like it's in the mask there like so which is pretty cool but we have another option here as well this mask piece actually is just going to basically just snap into place here on the face if you remove the hair part there on the front this will just fit over our face plate here pop the front of the hair back on and there you go that's just on the face there like that We've got plenty of hand option parts here, of course, both for the left and the right side in the white type hands. We've got closed fist, uh, holding hands, weapon hands, open expressive hands, open resting hands. And you've got all that same variety in black as well for the kind of mechanical hands for that arm if you want to use those. Around here to the back, we've got the tail, of course, and you've also got this optional kind of like little backpack sort of set equipment here, which will plug onto the back if you want to use that. And then our original armaments here, the sword, which is now all in green, both the sword itself and the sheath there for that. How you connect this onto the kit for storage, we've got a couple of these like little adapter pieces, which is on like a slight angle. So you'll plug that into here. And the other side, you can plug into the side of this sort of skirt. I want to say question mark equipment there on the side of her outfit you can plug that onto there like that and then we've also got the rifle which is also all in green here and now you have an optional part for this when in use you're going to swap this part out like that to have that extended the back part of that extended like that really cool design here for the rifle i like it a lot it looks quite interesting here all in green as well it's certainly very unique and then our new parts are going to have some options here as well but here is the anti-tank missile launcher so you got kind of like your main handles here and a lot of great detail if you guys have never seen these little armory sets before and never built one, they're really highly detailed because they're meant to be very realistic representations of like real world weaponry. So we've got a bunch of detail around here on this, this little kind of handle bit here on the side there as well. But there's your, like I said, your two main handles underneath this kind of like cap part here at the front opens up like that and I think that's meant to be like for the camera of it so it's a shame that we don't have like a clear part for that or something we kind of would have been cool but uh, just putting some like Aurora film if you have like a circle piece of Aurora film to put on there I think might be kind of nice and then we've got the actual missile itself I guess I think is yeah what that's supposed to be then what's meant to be fired out of there now we have an optional part here for this for the back end basically you can see we have one option to be able to actually plug this onto a flying base or something like that to make it look like it's actually flying through the air so you can just swap that part out these fins on here don't actually fold up or anything that's all just fixed in place but it is very nicely detailed again as you can see there is going to be a seam line around on this but ultimately pretty awesome and very large I mean, just compared to the kit itself stan you can see it comes up to the waist of the main figure just for the missile there and that's basically it for all of the accessories and all of the articulation everything for this is going to be pretty standard if you've built any kind of frame arms or mcgabby device type of kit before you should have a pretty good idea what to expect for the articulation one a couple things to note i guess is that for the back of the hair you can see it's kind of two main sections that are articulated that you can change the angle of those also for the hat if you did not want to have the hat on the head you take that off you can see 
see there's a peg right there. But one thing you can do is then take that little piece and basically turn it upside down like that. And then you can have the head without the hat on the top. So there's a nice little option that you can do there. But okay, so let's finish up the review here by checking out the kit in a few different poses. Another really awesome kit, like I said before, I love the design of this one. And in this new colorway, it is really, really nice once again. So I'm definitely a big fan of this release. And the included new accessory that you have here, the combination of the little armory weapon set is a nice addition. Oftentimes a recolor won't necessarily really come with too much extra. It's basically just kind of a recolor and maybe some different decal markings or something like that. But it's nice that this one actually comes with something uh, additional that the original version did not have. That said, if you do have the original version, the little armory weapon set is available on its own. You could just buy separately and there's a lot of those that are available. Actually, there's a lot of different weapons. So if that's not something that you've looked into, but you like the look of those for your Frame Arms Girl kits or like for this kit or other kits like the Ludens, for example, from Kotobukiya, I think it would be a great option to try out some of the little armory weapon sets uh, with some of those so somewhat more kind of like realistic looking, less on like the sci-fi side. Uh, because the little armory weapon sets, like I said, are made to look like real world, like actual weaponry. But like I think I said, maybe in my review of the original version of this kit, is that I hope Kotobukiya will continue to do this kind of release where they're working with uh, different artists to come out with uh, different model kits where it's not necessarily in a particular line like Frame Arms or Megami Device, but sort of just like a one-off release where it's just kind of a, it's an original character. I think the downside of that is because when it's an original character, it has sort of like less name recognition Whereas like everybody's familiar with frame arms, everybody's familiar with Megami device. This is something that's just kind of standalone and may not be as visible to people. But I think it is a really cool design and makes for a pretty awesome kit. So I hope that they will continue to release kits like this uh, into the future, whether they be additional designs from Shimada Humikane or different artists, I think would be cool to see as well. But that's just my thoughts on the kit. Let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. As always, thank you so much for the support. And if you want to check out this kit for yourself or anything else from Kotobuki, you can check the link in the video description to USA Gundam Store. Got all sorts of different stuff like this for you guys to check out there. So thank you all so much for your support, whether it be liking the video, commenting, subscribing, or just hanging out, checking out the video. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Until next time, hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you all later. Bye, guys.